Hey there, I'm Josh Lappin and welcome to Skinny to Strong. This is the first workout uh, in this series and I'm excited to get started with you today. Before we get started though, uh, I want to go over a brief stretching routine that I use before each workout to help my muscles uh, loosen up and to help me prepare for each workout. Um, we emphasize safety heavily in our exercise program and the stretching routine is a way to help us uh, prepare our bodies for the exercise to prevent injuries. So let's go ahead and get started. The first exercise we're going to do for the stretching is we're just going to do a light neck stretch. We're just going to pull the head slightly to the side for about 30 seconds on each side. Switch. And with each exercise, if you don't stretch a lot and your body's not uh, used to this, just do your best um, to get started. Next, we're going to do an arm cross, arm across the body. Lock in below the elbow. This stretch is stretching out our shoulders and our back a little bit. Okay, next overhead arm stretch. We're just putting our arm behind our head, pulling it back with our hand at the elbow. And then switch. This is stretching our tricep and shoulder and back as well. Now we're going to do an overhead stretch. You just take your hands, lock your fingers together. Overhead, hands facing upward. Stretch as high as you can. This is stretching your upper body, back, shoulders, and some of your abdominal muscles. Next chest, or next exercise is going to be a chest stretch. What we're going to do, stand up straight, take your hands, lock them behind your back, pull your chest forward, and stretch your chest. Now, for a modification, if you're flexible, you can actually begin to lift your hands slightly get a deeper stretch. Okay. Now that was the upper body. Now we're going to do the lower body. We're going to do our quads next. So what you want to do, uh, if you need something to hold on to, this might be a good time to do it. But what we're going to do is we're going to stand on one foot and lift one of our legs up and back. Hold. Except if you need something to reach on to, perfectly okay. If you're able to balance, great. Alright, next side. Stretching out the quads here. You're going to need to do that. Alright, next exercise. You can see here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to place one foot slightly ahead of the other, and I'm going to actually move my foot upwards so it's that incline, keeping my knees locked. I'm going to reach down and grab my toe. So, gently with this if you're not flexible. This is stretching out the hamstrings and the calf muscle. Switch sides. Ok, 
Okay. Now the next exercise is a hamstring stretch. There's two ways to do it. You can either do it standing or you can do it seated. I actually prefer to do it seated, so I'm going to do it that way. You just simply sit down and try to touch your toes. On that exercise, if you need to bend your knees a little bit, that's fine. Uh, sometimes I do one foot at a time and then the other and then both together just to get my legs and hamstrings warmed up at the beginning. All right, then the last stretch, we're actually going to do a squat. Now, some of you may not be able to do this at first, but just work up to it. It's uh, one of the core flexibility exercises that uh, you want to be able to attain at some point in your future. It's very simple. All I'm going to do, I usually put my hands together like this, or some variation of that, your hands in front of you, or you can stick your hands straight out. But we're just going to simply uh, put, place our feet about shorter width apart, maybe a little bit more, same stance you would use as a squat. We're just going to squat down. And hold there if you're able to. back up. Now that, like I said, that may be a challenge for some of you at first, but I really encourage you to work on that. Uh, that's going to stretch pretty much your whole lower body, your back, your quads, hamstrings. It's everything really loosened up for what's coming next. Alright, so that's our warm-up for today.